As I have promised, today we are going to do a repasting of Legion 5 Pro, which because of bad thermal paste I would highly recommend. To open this machine we will need to remove 10 screws. To remove the cover you will need some sort of plastic pry tool. My advice is to start from the back and work your way around. Air intake grills are big enough and they look really nice. In the middle we have some air intake blockers. Their main purpose is to block all hot air from the middle entering the fans which we will discuss in next video. I will be using Thermal Grizzly Minus Pad and Cryonaut Thermal Paste, which are some of the best options out there. To remove cooling block, please follow the numbers written next to the screws and unscrew them in that order. Also, do not forget to disconnect both fans from motherboard. First of all, let's disconnect the battery. You can use any pointy plastic tool and your nail to slowly pry out the connector. After that, we will need to remove left and right metal shields by unscrewing them. To remove memory cover, you can just wiggle your prying tool a bit and just pull the cover up. Now we can disconnect both fans. Also be extra careful since those wires are really thin. First I will remove fan screws. And now we can switch the bigger bit and proceed with unscrewing main cooling block. As I have already mentioned, please follow the numbers when unscrewing. Now we can try to wiggle the cooling block a bit and it should come off just fine. Here we can see how dry this thermal paste actually is and why it is necessary to reapply it. Also note that thermal pads are not the best ones. Please be careful when removing the thermal paste from the chip surface. There are some small SMDs that could be damaged if you are not careful. Now I'm going to clean the rest of the paste from cooling block. Here you can see where we will need to place our new thermal pads. First clean up all surfaces with some rubbing alcohol. After that you can either use whole length from your thermal pads or as I did here just cut to the exact size that you will need to use. Here we can double check and remove old pads from cooling block. Now one last wipe before applying thermal paste to the chips. At this point you can apply your paste as you wish. There are a lot of ways but in general you want to cover your whole chip with paste so that there are no gaps. After that is done you can place back your cooling block and align all holes. And screw everything back as it was before. Main purpose of doing this was to normalize temperatures of the laptop. Also please do not expect extreme gains in terms of lower temperatures. In the next video I will show you something new for cooling block and some software adjustments. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing to my channel. Cheers!